Hey baby, hey sugar, how you mama them? It's your girl Kiwi. Welcome back to another video. So y'all, today I am super excited because I finally received my package from Be Perfect Cosmetics. I had to order from the UK warehouse because they were sold out of my shade in the, or at least the shade I was going for. Um, they were sold out in the U.S. warehouse, so I went ahead and picked the uh, picked it up from there. So I got it a couple of days ago, and I did pick up the concealer. So I picked up the shade and the foundation in nine. This is the Chroma Cover Matte Foundation, and then I also picked up the Chroma Conceal Liquid Concealer, and I picked it up in the shade in five. Also newly released is the what is this? The Mrs. Glam Magnificent Palette, and this is um by Michelle. Rigazzoli stone um so it's a super pretty that's what she looks like and it also has highlighter um has a highlighter a blush shade contour i believe that is i don't know who that's going to contour but it's not gonna be me um and maybe slap a uh, slap it on as a bronzer or something but i'll definitely be able to use it as an eyeshadow but um this is what the palette looks like on the inside super cute and it does have a mirror so um yeah i'm gonna use this um palette today so i've already primed with my milk hydro grip primer especially since it's a matte foundation i like to go in with the hydrating primer for a matte foundation and a matte primer if it's a luminous foundation. So the foundation, it comes in a very nice sleek box. You just slide it off the top. And then the bottle is glass. So this is what she looks like. Very nice, very pretty bottle. And again, it is glass, pop top, and it does indeed have a pump. So um, again, I picked up the shade N9. So we're gonna try that one out, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my brows with the shade N5 in the Chroma Concealer. And that's what she looks like out of the um, out of the box. All right, so that is the shade N5 of the concealer on the back of my hand. I'm gonna just dab a little bit of that and clean up my brows. the concealer blended out really nicely maybe a smidge too light for um highlighting purposes but we'll see still gonna try it out now getting into the foundation in the shade in nine i'm gonna pump one pump on the back of my hand so she looks really really rich Hoping it's not too um, too red, too orange. So I'm gonna clean up the top of my brows. See what we get. Okay, looks pretty. Hmm, maybe a little warm. I don't know, we'll see once we put it all over the face. I'm gonna just take my Morphe E63 and blend out the edge of that um, foundation a little bit. And it's looking like we might be okay. So now let's just go ahead and give it a try and see what she looks like on the face. So two pumps may have been overkill, okay? Let's just keep it a buck. So I'm gonna take um, the bottom of my Sonia Kashuk and I'm just gonna go all over and hopefully pick up a lot of excess foundation. We'll definitely uh, do one pump next time, half pump on each side, because the coverage is unreal. The finish is actually really pretty. It's just, I got on a lot of foundation right now. 
All right, so it's probably as good as she's gonna get. She transfers pretty nicely before being um, set and everything. So let's be mindful of that. All right, so we have learned <laughs> Don't freak out just yet until you get everything else um, done. So, um, looking at my chest on camera and in person, it looks pretty decent. It's actually a little bit deeper than my chest. Um, so... I'm okay with it being deeper. Just don't be lighter. So deeper is okay. So I'm going to go in now with um, the concealer in N5 and apply it everywhere um, that I want to highlight. like it has some sort of cooling effect or something. I don't know. It might just be cold. So I'm going to fan it just a little bit because I don't think it's a matte, but if it is, girl, maybe should have tested that out first. I'm going to take the same sponge and I'm going to just start blending everything out. Mm. Maybe shouldn't let it sit a little more or... I wouldn't want it. That's okay. We'll just go with what we got for now. So we can always build instead of having to take it off. Blends it out really nicely, but I'm going to go underneath my eyes and apply a little bit more. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes too because I think she needs to sit a little longer. Down a little bit more down the bridge of my nose also. This is definitely one that you'll um, want to let sit for a, a few minutes um, to get tacky and give its full coverage potential. So, yeah. But a really, really thin formula. Like, I don't feel anything on the face. It actually feels really nice. It has, like, a little cooling sensation. I don't know if it was just because it was cold in the package. Uh, in the packaging or what so yeah but that is the concealer and the foundation so I'm gonna go ahead and like set my concealer and I'm also gonna go ahead and set the um, face and do a little contouring and then we'll be back to do the eyeshadow all right so we have gone ahead and finished up the rest of our face like or at least done a few more steps anyway now, I use the ABH eyeshadow primer, um, so we're going to go in to the Magnificent palette now. So, as I'm looking at this palette, it is so pretty, absolutely beautiful. I am a sucker for a neutral palette. I am the neutral palette queen, self-proclaimed, okay? So, I think I'm going to do something real simple. Looking in the palette, I think I'm going to go into the shade Be Extra to start. Now the shade be extra in the pan is more like a it's a lot of keep back. It's more like a um like a berry plummy shade. So we're gonna see. Ah I'm gonna lay that down on the outer half here. Right, so I swirled off the excess and now I'm just gonna go in and buff out the edge with the same brush. All right, so for my inner corner, I mean, yeah, inner corner, top half of my lid, I'm going to go in with the shade Grandeur. Um, it's like a really soft yellow undertoned brown. And just like we did the first color, just going to literally lay it and pack that down. It's a beautiful shade. This is a really pretty uh, transition shade, at least for my skin tone. And then, of course, going in and buffing out the edge and blending it into... Um, the first shade we put down. For the center of my lid, I'm going to lay down just a little bit of NYX Glitter Glue. All right, and for the center of my lid, I'm going to go into the shade Blondie. It's like a really um, soft pink shimmer shade. It's really pretty in the pan. It picks up really nicely on the brush. And I'm going to just, oh, mercy. 
So in combo with the NYX Glitter Glue and just probably being a dynamic uh, shimmer shade, looks really nice. I'm just going to go back into Be Extra and just kind of blend. We don't want any harsh edges or anything like that. And doing the same for Grandeur. And with the pencil brush, I'm just going to go into the shade Your Highness, which is supposed to be the highlighter um, in the palette. I'm just pack that into the inner corner. And for the lower lash line, I think I'm going to go into this really nice brown. It's called Diddy's. <laughs> All right, I'm going to grab some lashes, mascara, and a little bit of liner. Be right back. Okay, guys. So we're back, and now I'm going to go in with the shade Cheeky Peaches. I already started to apply it um, there for my blush today, and it is really cute. Super, super cute, but very pigmented, so you gotta tread lightly and just build it up. Don't just try to go in full speed ahead on the first dip. And the same shade that we use in our inner corner, Your Highness, I'm going to go in um, and highlight with that. It's more of a creamy um, highlight, so. Okay, so I'm going to go in now with the double glazed um, lip gloss. And I am in the, I'm going to use the shade, in the shade. I'm going to use the shade Iced Latte. But I'm going to line my lips with um, Boss Up from Be Simone Beauty. This lippy is giving me night moth and snob nostalgia. Like, mm -hmm. I love that. Absolutely love that. The center, I'm going to go in with a little bit of Starkers. It's another um, uh, double glazed gloss. Just lighten up the center a little bit. All right, sugar, so that is the finished look um, using the Chroma Cover Matte Foundation. Not giving me matte at all. I'm getting more so of a natural finish, but I do like the finish. I do love the formula. Um, it's just not matte. Unless, you know, well, I'm, I don't know. I might just be used to flat matte. Like, I am more of the soft matte, although that is more so a natural matte, too. But this one has a, a nice little sheen little glow to it so take from that what you will i do love the formula of this foundation and the concealer is very nice as well again this is one that you'll definitely need to let sit if you want to get the you know the full coverage and make sure that um when you're blending it out you're not blending it away because it is a very thin formula which i'm a-okay with um but it is hydrating it is a really good concealer so um both of these get a thumbs up from me for sure i would suggest that you um give it a try and then um, i'm gonna see just how it wears throughout the day and then i'll just update you guys um in the comments down below and let you know how um how it came out at the end of the day and uh yeah so if you were thinking about picking up the foundation or the concealer giving it a try i would suggest that you do so um just use the um, foundation match um, quiz or whatever that they have the option that they have online um, because that's what I use and I think it was a good match so no complaints here I don't have to send anything back or give it away or whatever and try again so good good match for me the palette baby baby not that it was any question that this palette was going to be a go or not but honey honey okay then miss ma'ams this palette is indeed magnificent so i would suggest you picking that up as well well thank you guys so much again for stopping by please be sure to thumbs up this video if you did like it leave me some comments and make sure that you are subscribed but until next time, y'all, keep it crazy. Keep it cool.